Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to my channel Informative Fun. As you know, this is the world of information. In today's video, I will tell you about some endangered travel destinations around the world. Many of the world's most wondrous and beautiful destinations are in danger of being destroyed by a combination of environmental and social factors. A warming climate, pollution, strained resources, bulging populations, and booming tourist traffic. Below are some popular locations worth visiting before they disappear. Number 1. Glaciers United States and Canada Glacier National Park contains some of the most beautiful primitive wilderness in the Rocky Mountains. There are more than 200 glacier fed lakes, high peaks, large forests, waterfalls, much wildlife and a great variety of wildflowers. However, temperature fluctuations have caused glacier growth and depletion. 10,000 years ago, the area of Glacier National Park was covered by ice up to 1 mile below sea level. The latest warm period has caused the number of glaciers to decrease from 150 in 1850 to 26 today. If current global warming trends continue, there will be no glaciers left in Glacier National Park by 2030. Next is Venice, Italy. With as many as 40 floods per year between March and September, Venice is slowly sinking at an estimated rate of 2.5 inches every 10 years. Venice, a city of beauty and charm, was built as a collection of 118 separate islands, relying entirely on a canal system of about 150 canals, mostly very narrow, crossed by some 400 bridges. A severe flood in December 2008 brought renewed attention to Venice's vulnerable state, an imminent fate as an underwater city. Next is the Dead Sea, border between Israel and the West Bank and Jordan. Known as one of the saltiest water bodies in the world and the lowest dry point on Earth, the Dead Sea is fed by the Jordan River and a number of small streams because it is located in a very hot and dry region. The Dead Sea loses much water through evaporation, causing its level to fluctuate during the year. However, inflow to the Dead Sea has been greatly reduced by the increased use of the Jordan River by Israelis, Palestinians, and Jordanians, who have growing population and increased agriculture needs, resulting in falling water levels. Currently, the Dead Sea receives about 3 feet each year. Next is Mexico City. In the past 100 years, Mexico City has sunk more than 30 feet. The original city was built on the site of a former lake, the Aztecs, built the city on a series of aquatic platforms. But when the Spanish conquered the city, they drained the lake, causing it to sink. As the city population ballooned and the demand for water increased in the 20th century, the government began pumping much of the city's supply out of the underground aquifer that once feed the lake causing the city to sink further. No practical plan has been made for the future to provide the 22 million inhabitants of Mexico City with the water they need without destroying the city. So this is done for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you are amazed to know about these wandering places around the world. I will be back with some other interesting informative video. Till then, goodbye.